Hello everyone, it is Indiana Diecast Guy back here with another Diecast review. Today's Diecast will be. It's a different Diecast than what you'd expect, but it is a custom Kyle Larson wrecked version Diecast. And I'm not sure it's based off like a certain wreck or anything, because I looked around and I could not find a car that looked like this. And, um,. The way you get these, I think you can find them online. Um, but where I get them are is the gypsies or tents or whatever you want to call them at racetracks. And there should be a little sign that says, like, trouble at the racetrack, something like that. We can just something around that area. And there would be, like, shelves of wrecked die cast. More like 10 or 12 of them. Really depends. But I thought this would be an interesting one to review. Just kind of see how the guy did on it. And let's get started. So we can start here with the hood. You know, the hood's really, really badly damaged. Looks like he hit the wall right there. He's got some scratches. This part's bent in. You can almost probably break it off if you want. And the front nose all messed up and all that. And the hood all screwed up. And... Props to this guy. It is hard to make a wreck die cast like that. And he made it really good. I wish he kind of maybe filled up the scratches with like something different. But it looks amazing. I love how he added like a little dirt effect. If you can kind of see on the hood, there's like some dirt, dirt on it. I, I'm not sure you can see that, but it's around there. <laughs> Engine's about the same. You can kind of see some of the dirt effect on that too. But we go around to the window and you know monster energy um it has like a little satin finish with the dirt i guess dirt effect on it if that's what you want to call it take it over here i do like the addition of the cut window net it just makes it more realistic and um i've actually been doing that to some of my race with die cast i've been cutting the net off and just putting it down just because it kind of seems more like a race with die cast if you have the the window net down we go along here, we have like a scratch across the side here, and yeah, not, I wouldn't say too realistic, but it looks pretty nice, and we got DC Solar over here, and yeah, um, some more scratches, they did really good with the tires though, I'm not sure if you can see this, but it has it like where it's worn off and all that right there, so yeah, you can kind of see that, and they also have it over here, um, yeah, and over here, we've got the sponsors all around here. What sponsors are there? There's Sharon, Williams, Lincoln Welders, and I can't see the other one because they're cut off a little bit. Go around the back. Bad damage to the back. It looks like, my guess is that kind of, if this is like a wreck, kind of slid up, hit the top wall, the top end of the track. Came down and hard hit into the inside wall would be would be my guess. We got go around here. You can kind of see inside the the car a little bit. We've got a lot of weird dents and cutouts and scratches right here. Just I don't really know what he's trying to do over here, but this kind of looks weird with all the scratch marks and all that. But go around here. We got the very shredded up wheel right here. That looks pretty cool in my opinion. And we go along here, and we got more scratches. Um, I still can't tell what the sponsor is. Like, uh, I can't really read it from, from here. You got, like, the dirt effect on that, like um, the hood does. And you got, like, the scratch marks and all that. These, a little unrealistic. I feel like I could patch that up, though, um, after this review is done. And we got the... I don't know what you want to call these, but you got Monster Energy, Lincoln Welders, Mechanics Wear, 3M, Flowmaster, and of course NASCAR Race Car. And you got the sponsors up here McDonald's, Cessna, Freightliner, Credit One, Coca Cola. I can't see the other two because it's been scratched up. But yeah, you can kind of see as I kind of go around in it, you can really see the dirt effect on the car. And I think that's really what makes it 
but what makes it really good is just the dirt effect of it like sliding through the grass or whatever. But hey, I guess there's damage on the roof somehow. I don't know. I don't know why I did this, but yeah, damage on the roof. Okay, so we've this review kind of went by quack quick to be honest. But um yeah, we go around the front left and you can just kind of all dented up and all that, you know, a lot of just random patches of just cut off decal parts or whatever you want to call it. We've got some more sponsors right there, Sunoco, Elbrook, Mail, Mail, whatever you, uh, Moog, Moog, whatever you pronounce it. And that's really about it. Really cool diecast in my opinion. If you ever are at the racetrack, and you want to pick these up, go by the tents, and it's most likely they're going to have them. I did not see any. The two tracks that I saw them at was Kentucky and um, Michigan. There might be more. There probably is more, but I don't know for sure. And um, like I said, you can find these on eBay for, I think they're about the same price as normal 124s, which is, which is pretty cool. And... Um, yeah, I think that's really it for this review. Um, leave a comment down below if you want me to review a diecast. Um, and I will see if I have it. Or just DM me on Instagram. You, you know, it's Guy Cook Up Series. No, NASCAR Guy Cook Up Series. It's my other account got deleted. But, um, yeah. Have a great rest of your day. And this is NASCAR. I mean, Indiana NASCAR signing out. But yeah, this is really all I have for for this review. Very good diecast in my opinion. Really recommend it. So hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. And this is Indiana Diecast Guy signing out.